Martin and welcome to another great edition of Astronomy for Beginners and today I'm going to do a product review on this little device. We'll go back to that later but what, what it is is um, I'm doing this review is to demonstrate that if you're one of these people who want to own a telescope to use it for astronomy but also to use it for uh, any other purposes like uh, bird watching or using it as a general terrestrial telescope then an astronomical telescope would be the cheaper option because you, you can spend a lot of money on these spotting scopes for quite a great deal of money and the thing with spotting scopes is that they, um, they're good for a certain purpose okay they just use for what they are designed for um, and that's just general viewing and, and, and all the good stuff of bird watching and all that however an astronomical telescope does have advantage now if you buy an astronomical telescope you are paying for decent optics and the, I'm, I'm sorry and I'm afraid to say the least that the optical quality on these telescopes are going to be far superior than a spotting uh, scope now this 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 one here which is the Alto Astro Lightwave 66 millimeter is a fantastic astronomical telescope and because of its size, uh, and it's so small and it's so portable, this will be ideal as a, a, a really good landscape telescope. However, there's one key issue with astronomical telescopes. It's because of the, the, also the, the good quality optics, but you don't want a chance to lose a little bit of light. You want to gather as much light as possible. And one thing you probably have seen, and you probably realize it yourself, that your images are upside down now there is a big reason for that is that astronomical telescopes demand uh, as much light as possible so it passes through a few uh, pairs of glass okay and this will like in a way when you look through the eyepiece the images appear to be upside down or back to front now the reason for that is that you want to as, as grab as much light as possible so this is when this device becomes apparent. Now, if you w if you put these uh, with a spot into scope, uh, th they usually have a prism or a built-in uh, lens element inside, and that's what gives you the upright image. Now, with this device, this is uh, this is an awesome product done by Alto Astro, and this is part of the Light Series erecting prisms. Again, this is a 45 degree angle. Okay, metal construction. All right, really good quality there. All right, and it's got a really good high quality quartz prism in there. Okay, it's really, really, really good quality. Now the main problem with a lot of cheap prisms out there, you can buy or mirrors or erected mirrors, is they tend to lose a bit of light as it passes through the prism. Now what this device will do is we'll connect simply connect in here, like so. change it for an eyepiece and a good standard 25mm like so and that's it and then you just basically focus the image okay there you go you've got yourself a decent little spotting scope which you can use for a variety of things so in other words it will increase the use of that telescope so if you take a close look at the uh, at the Alto Astro erecting prism and as you can see really good build quality okay it, it fits in the uh, the the 66 millimeter quite quite nice as well all right metal construction it's got the anti marring device here so it doesn't mark your eyepieces which is a nice little feature okay and we're going to take a close look and you can see that it looks almost like a uh, a diagonal mirror okay the typical coatings and again it's it is actually if you look at it slightly there is actually a slight greenish coating on there okay so there's a really good uh, optical glass there that's been included into there really nice really smart and it's better than your usual cheap erecting prisoners which you can buy now it is 49 pounds but you can tell with the quality you are paying for the actual glass itself and the good thing with this erecting prism 
is as we put it onto the eyepiece you're not going to lose as, as much light again they do a two inch variant of this okay the two inch variant costs 99 pounds but it's a lot bigger it's a lot more robust now the only bugbear I will have to say is that apart from the glass being high quality the actual unit itself is the uh, is this this part here it's been plastic now I thought it could be just all the way through metal metal construction so that's the only bugbear I've got about it but apart from that everything else the glass the the coatings and I do like the anti marring uh, ring inside as well so again 49 pounds and now uh, this is the inch and a quarter and it's so simple you know you can convert your refractor now uh, with a standard eyepiece like that okay and the good thing you can you can turn it around different directions okay and you can just clamp it on focus the the actual telescope itself and basically you can just look through now as you can see here the image is all the way up now unfortunately I don't have a camera that can uh, give you the full field of view okay but uh, as, as you can see there with the evidence you can see really good optics uh, and it's, and the sharpness on the uh, actual on the actual rectum prison is provided is it's pretty superior so it, it is worth the money and again it's better than any of the cheap st standard erecting prisons you've probably seen with a few telescopes but again you're paying for premium optics always premium optics because that will determine how good your views are going to be the only thing I will have to point out is that compared to a diagonal mirror uh, if you're going to use it for astral visual stuff compared to a, a diagonal which a mirror diagonal which reflects the light you do get a certain amount of light loss and you do with this so ideally for general viewing it's fine and image and looking at planets and, and the moon is also fine but however for like deep sky objects if you're looking at so, something that's really faint and you're looking at galaxies or nebula I will ideally use a diagonal mirror okay so now the other thing is um, with this device is it's it's great for eyepiece viewing now because of this uh, refractor being a shock tube a variety what you're trying to do is you're actually ex this acts like a, an extension tube so basically the extension tube will stick out to about here but this actually folds it away and makes it more much more compact now if you're going to fit that to a camera then you might struggle to get focus or actually not achieve focus at all so this is useful for attaching eyepieces so it's not particularly useful for uh, connecting your camera onto the telescope now if you were going to take, uh, connect your DSLR camera then you need to remove this item and fit it directly to the telescope that way because this acts like an extension tube okay you're not going to achieve focus with the DSLR camera okay so that is something to point out as well and as you can see that's quite quite good sharpness that through the prism okay so the really good optics on that uh, erecting prism so basically what you've got there is you've got a really good setup with superior optics of an astronomical telescope and the compactness the, the erecting prism providing the upright image the other point is that this erecting prism only works for refractors Schmidt Cassegrains and Maxitov variant telescopes. This will not work for your reflectors, I'm afraid. This is specifically more designed for refractors, uh, Maxitovs, and Schmidt Cassegrains. Okay, so if you've got a reflector, don't buy one of these, all right? It's not going to work. So if you like what you see, this product, and you like to purchase one of these items, then uh, again, the links at the bottom okay if you order online there okay you can get this smart little device and get more use out your astronomical telescope again we're also available for the, on the facebook group astronomy for beginners okay there's a lot of decent advice there please please join that group if you like this video please give a thumbs up if you like my videos please subscribe onto my channel 
click on the subscribe button and again thanks for watching and clear skies to you all.